Hello viewers, welcome back. In our today's video, we will discuss about soft starters, which are used in the electronic motor starting technique. Soft starters possess different characteristics as compared to the conventional motor starting methods of TOL starter and the star delta starter. In the first part of the video, we will try to understand the design aspects of the soft starter. And in the second part, we will discuss about different configurations of soft starters which are used in the power systems. Hope that you are going to enjoy our discussion. Majority of the motors used in the industry for different applications are induction motors. This is due to the simplicity of the design as compared to the other motor types. Induction motors are robust in construction and are mechanically strong. That is why it is suited in almost all industrial environment and conditions including the hazardous environment. Another biggest advantage of induction motor is its low cost as compared to the other motor types. Most use sizes of low voltage induction motors are in the range from 0.12 kW to 1000 kW and from 400 V till 690 V. Different starting techniques are used in industry for the induction motors like the DOL starter, star delta starter, soft starter and motor starting using the variable frequency drive. Our today's discussion is on the soft starters. Soft starters possess the thyristor based design and it works on the principle that if the motor applied voltage is low at the time of motor starting, then the starting current and starting torque will also be lower. Soft starter assembly consists of two basic components. First is the control unit, which controls the firing of the thyristor based on the voltage or current references. The control unit is also responsible for the calculation of different electrical parameters such as motor current, motor torque, active power, cosine phi, motor thermal state and operating time. The second component is the thyristor assembly. The main part is the semiconducting thyristors which are placed in all three phases of the soft starter. These thyristors are responsible for the voltage ramp up during motor starting and ramp down during motor stopping. The thyristor assembly also consists of the heat sink body to avoid heat accumulation during the starting phase and the continuous operation of the soft starter. One or more fans are also provided to increase the cooling capacity of the heat sink. Number of fans in the assembly depends on the soft starter power rating and its design. These assemblies are housed in a casing. A display is mounted in front of the casing to work as an HMI. HMI shows different setting parameters and electrical readings. Required settings are made using the keypad on the casing. The soft starter configuration in power systems for starting an induction motor is developed with either external or an internal bypass. The main function of the soft starter is to support the starting of the induction motor at desired current and torque value. Once the motor is started and reaches its full speed, it is unnecessary to continuously pass the electrical power to the motor through the soft starter solid state power circuit. The external or internal bypass is used to divert the power through an alternate route once the motor is started and reduces the heat losses in the solid state section of the soft starter. In case of an external bypass, a separate power contactor is used for this purpose. Some soft starters are designed with an internal bypass contact. With this design of soft starter, any other external bypass contactor is not required. Other power components involved in soft starter circuit are external short circuit protection device, main power contactor to control the motor start and stop. Fast acting fuses are added in the circuit to achieve the type 2 coordination. Induction motors are used in industry to drive a variety of different applications such as compressors, conveyors, mixers, different kind of pumps, etc. These different loads exhibit different loading conditions for the motor. For the motor to accelerate, it is required to be stronger than the load itself. When we look at the torque speed curve of the induction motor, the load torque is the direct braking force on the motor's shaft. For the motor to drive the load, motor available torque should always be greater than the load torque. Therefore, the accelerating torque is the difference between the motor available torque and the load torque. As compared to DOL starter, the soft starter can limit the starting current of the motor at a desired value. However, it is important to mention that by reducing the current of the motor, available torque also reduces. Therefore, it is necessary that starting current is only reduced to a point against which the motor available torque remains greater than the load torque. Different starting techniques are used in the soft starters. Time voltage ramp technique is based on the fact that by reducing the applied voltage, the starting current will be reduced. However, this also reduces the motor available torque. 
Therefore, this technique is not suitable for the load which requires higher starting torque. The stop ramp is used in applications where soft stopping of motor is required. Example of such applications is the water supply to the high-rise buildings. In order to avoid water hammering which can damage the pipelines and the pump, it is recommended that pump motor should shut down gradually. Another example is the conveyor belts handling fragile material. Other applications like vessels, both thruster motors or fans or escalators do not need a soft stop. Another technique is the constant current starting. In this technique, the soft starter delivers voltage to the motor until it reaches the specified current level. At this specified current level, the voltage ramp is stopped until the current drops and then the voltage ramp continues again towards the full voltage. Another technique is the torque control, which provides constant acceleration torque during the motor startup by adjusting the motor power in a manner that the motor accelerating torque remains as constant as possible. Now we will discuss about the soft starter connections with the induction motor. There are many ways of connecting the soft starter to the motor terminals. The most used method is the inline connection where all the three phases from soft starter are connected to the motor terminal as shown in the diagram. Another method is the inside delta connection shown here. This technique allows the replacement of existing star delta starter with the soft starter. Another important area for discussion is the start of several motors using a single soft starter. This scheme can be divided into two parts. First is the start of parallel connected motor with a single soft starter as shown in the diagram. Care should be taken while using this scheme that the selected soft starter rating should be enough to cater the load and the starting current of all the connected motors. Second scheme is the sequential start of the motors which is called the cascaded motor starting. In this scheme, the soft starter starts the connected motors one by one. Care should be taken while using this scheme that soft starter rating should be enough for each connected motor. So this is the end of our today's video. I hope it will help you to develop the understanding about the topic. If you like the video, please hit the like button. Please give suggestions for improvement in the comments box. Please also let me know if you need information about any other topic. I will try to cover it in my next vlogs. Please subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon so that you will get updates about the latest videos. Thank you.